there are timestamps on this video for you to be able to skip through and get whatever you need. I'll be covering how to download H2M, how to update your servers, control settings with or without DS4, and in-game H2M settings. So first up, you need Modern Warfare Remastered, and to be able to get this for free, there are three methods. So the first method is buying Modern Warfare Remastered on Steam. Now, however, you can get a refund out of this. But before you do that, when you buy it on Steam, obviously, hopefully you have 40 bucks, you wanna make sure you install both multiplayer and campaign into your PC before you start to request for a refund. Then once both are installed, then you're gonna contact Steam and let them know that you want a refund from Modern Warfare Remastered. It was either an accident that you purchased it or the better method is to say that there are hackers, RCEs on the game and it's very unsafe to play. And even if you have more than two hours of play time on Modern Warfare Remastered, you can still request for that refund. Now, moving on to the second method is the method I do, which is technically not illegal. I'm borrowing the game from a friend on Steam. You can do this as well. If you know anyone that has Modern Warfare Remastered, multiplayer bought from like years ago. Now, essentially your goal is to make sure that you have the files on your computer. Now, the third method is the illegal method, which I'm not gonna go in detail on how to do it, but it's basically getting a torrent. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna show you how to do that just because I don't want this video getting taken down, so I'm trying to dodge as many bullets as possible. Once that is said and done, and you have the files, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go down below in the description and find Faden's H2M service. That Discord link will allow you to be able to go here and go to the tutorial and download. It will teach you how to install H2M. Now, I know obviously this is a video that's supposed to teach you how to install it, but the reason why I said this is because not only that there are updated methods and I do not wanna mess with my H2M on my PC. Now, what I can show you is how to find servers and manually put them in your game. Go to the description and download server favorites JSON file. When you save it, make sure you go to your C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Modern Warfare Remastered, then Players 2 folder. Put the JSON file there. This will allow you to see all the servers in the game. Now, if you want to add more servers, you can go to this website. This link to this website will be down below in the description, and you can add any new servers that get added. Now, the next thing we're going to cover is how to plug in a controller. Now, depending on what controller you have, I myself have a PS5 controller. So this DS4 window settings that you'll see down below in the description will work for PS5 and PS4. Maybe PS3, I've never tried that though. However, if you have an Xbox controller or maybe a Steam controller or whatever it is, you can go here, click on the controller icon on the Modern Warfare Remastered on your library folder and enable Steam input here. I have it on as well, but the problem is, is that for whatever reason, my PS5 just doesn't seem to work. And I believe you have to like have this open as well. Um, me personally, I feel like it's just too much of a hassle and it just didn't work for me and I tried for whatever reason, but um, DS4 Windows, it seems to work best for me. Now, if you guys want this settings, you're going to open up this link on Google Drive through the description and you're going to download it, find wherever you save it. It's more than likely going to be in your downloads folder. Then when you go back on DS4 Windows, you're going to want to go to profiles, but make sure your controller is obviously plugged in. Uh, you're going to click on imports. And obviously my thing is right here already. And from whatever folder you save it in, whether it could be your downloads folder, you load up the source Zephy H2M settings and it should be right here. And then you go back to controller and on selected profile, you make sure you go from default to my settings here. And again, this is compatible with the PS4. There's one thing you need to know about this setting. Everyone's controller settings are gonna be different. One is your left stick dead zone. You wanna make sure that your left stick dead zone is at least 0.10 to 0.20. You can push for 0.30 if you have too much movement going on. Because remember, this game requires you to stand still to land your shots. If you're moving just a, even a slight bit, it will make you miss your shots and your shots will not register. And your max dead zone is 0.90. You can keep it there or 0.80 if you want to push it. Me personally, 0.90 is like the sweet spot. Now your right stick, this is where it gets slightly complicating. If you like old gen console, 0.20 is the magic number. Me personally, I've always used 0.05 to 0.07 on Cold War or like any of the current gen CODs. So keep this between whatever you normally have it at. I also changed one of the controls here on the middle PlayStation button. The reason why this is a V is because this is my push to talk in game on COD. Keep in mind, I have a dual PC setup, so you can bind this to whatever you want on your keyboard. So if you have F12 to talk, put it at F12. And no matter where you touch on the touchpad, it will always show the scoreboard. And the final thing that you may want to change, um, the emulated controller, you can change it to DualShock 4 or Xbox 360, basically PS4 or 360 layout, doesn't really matter. And you scroll down here, you want to make sure that this is overclocked. This is at max one millisecond here. Since I have a PS5 controller, technically this should be at 8,000 Hertz. I'm not too sure why it's not showing, but 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong there. But yeah, that's the way to make sure it's overclocked. Now, booting up H2M, I'm gonna show you guys the in-game settings. This should be the final part of the video. If you guys wanna make sure you have this intro, if you go down into your folder settings, back to Steam Apps Common, I also made a uh, little shortcut here if you guys want. Make sure uh, when you get to Common, Program Files, 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, right-click on Modern Warfare Mastered, pin to quick access, so that way it's super easy to be able to access this folder if you ever need to come back to it. And if you guys have the intro of the Modern Warfare Mastered, apparently if you can find the file that is called default.bic, you want to rename it to default.bic.back in your Modern Warfare root folder. And for whatever reason, if you can't find that, just go to Private Match, Launch, and leave as soon as you can. Now, go to your options. Um, for graphics, this is going to be pretty scuffed, but I have my server latency enabled and my FPS counter enabled for me to be able to see how many frames I'm getting and plus to see if I'm lagging. Your advanced video, I automatically let my PC just customize this by whatever it feels like it was best. You can turn this down just a little bit, maybe just instead of having an extra, maybe like high or medium. And if you're having any trouble with lighting or a really ugly motion blur, turn the dynamic light to eight. Now, when you boot up the game, you want to make sure you enable gamepad. Obviously, I'm using my mouse here to just kind of scroll through the menu, but these are the settings that I use personally. Of course, adjust them to however you like. I use 1717. And then for the dead zone, do not adjust as just yet. We're going to type it into the uh, console command. You can also disable Amos's rotation if you want a trick shot and make sure that your spin zone gets slowed down every time you lock on to an enemy. And this is my audio settings as well in case you guys need it for whatever reason. Now in the console command, these are the first few things you're going to need to type to be able to make sure that this game runs very smooth. You're going to type in CG underscore FOV 65 or 70 or whichever FOV you prefer that is best for you. I personally run at 65. I'm just weird like that. Then the next thing you're going to type in is CG underscore FOV scale 1.1. One. This will allow you to have the intervention pushed out just a little bit and see the entire weapon itself. If you like how it is already, you can revert it back to just one. Next is your safe area. You want to have safe area adjusted horizontal and vertical to both 0.95. Next, this is going to be all personal preference. Depending on what your monitor is, I run a 240 hertz monitor. You can do com max FPS is 240 or whatever your monitor refresh rate is at. Or you can simply leave it uncapped by typing in zero. And the next one is going to be for your controller specifically. You're going to type in gpad underscore stick underscore dead zone underscore min to 0 0.01. You can technically adjust the dead zone in the game, but if you already have DS4 settings, this will allow you to have DS4 override the dead zone in the game. And then the last thing, if you ever want to change your name, it's honestly pretty simple. You don't need to type it in the console command, but if you go to personalization on the menu here, it has name and you can pretty much type it to whatever you want. Now that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, add it to your favorites. So that way you know where to come to if you have any troubles getting H2M or any controllers or settings that you may be struggling with. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Or if you want an immediate answer, Pull up to my Twitch. I'll be live streaming there every single day on H2M. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.